Hello, hello. How are you? Sorry. Sorry to come late. Nos, nos pasamos dos minutitos. I'm sorry, I'm, but I'm here. Welcome, Karen. Gloria, hello. Hey, Ángel. Hello, teacher. Hello. Felipe. Welcome, Felipe. Who has a dog over there? ¿Quién tiene un perrito por ahí? Who has a hello, dog? teacher. Welcome, Jose. Welcome. Who has the dog? Felipe, you have the dog? No. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. You have a pirulais, Felipe? No. No, no. No, you don't have, right? Okay. Give me a second. I will close some, some screen here. I am alone. Oh, do you have cats? No. 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 Okay. Good. Just give me a second. Uh, I was answering some questions for the last group, so... That's the reason I am late today with you. Okay, let me close this. And let's open the presentation for you. Uh, okay, pre-intermediate, today is 19th. Yes, I am opening for you the presentation for today. Okay, I have it here. Presentation for today. Okay, it's ready. It's ready. Okay, but before we start, uh, I I have something to tell you. Pero quizá vamos a esperar que se se re, se unan los demás. Because um, today uh, they recommend me to to encourage you, right? Que los anime, right? To encourage to to finish the section one, two, and three. Porque todavía hay algunos que no hemos terminado todas las secciones, ¿verdad? Pero ya vamos a hablar de eso. So, let's start with the, with the presentation today, right? Let's start with the presentation. Let me share my, the screen with you. Okay. The sound. Sharing, right? Okay. So for today, we're going to learn about pronunciation. Uh, questions of choice. Choice is an option, right? For example, when you want to drink, do you want to drink atole, coffee, or chocolate, right? So it says, would you like to drink coffee, atol, or chocolate, right? So that's the pronunciation, right? Questions of choice, the of option, right? Then we're going to practice a conversation talking about distance and measurements. Measure, medir, right? Measure. And measurements, medidas. Measurements, distance and measurements. Okay? So this is for today. Now, let's start with the, with the objective of today. Karen, please, can you read the, the objective for the class of today? Karen, please. Okay. In this session, you will learn to pronounce in order to soon that right when asking question of shows. Good. Thank you very much. That's the idea, to sound natural, right? Natural. Huh? Natural, like a, like a gringo. <laughs> okay? That's the idea, right? And for the pronunciation. Remember, pronunciation is really, really important, right? Now, yeah. uh, to start, let me see. We have the vocabulary, right? Actually, farm, mount. Oh, only three, excuse me. Yes, only three. Today, we don't have a lot of vocabulary, right? Uh, sorry, what is the meaning of actually, uh, Gloria? Do you know what is the meaning of actually? How do you say actually? In Actualmente, mm. actualidad. It's soon, mm. right? Se parece. Mm. No. Like you say, capacitación, capacitation, right? Especialidad. Similar, right? No es. But no, right? Mm -mm, no. Or like you say, Corbata, corbatation, right? <laughs> okay. But in this case, it's similar, but it's not. Parece, pero no es, Gloria. <laughs> okay, ah, okay. Let, let me see. 
Uh, Felipe, do you know? ¿Puede aportarnos algo ahí, Felipe? Mm, I... no. no, teacher. No, you don't know, you don't know. Eh, vamos I a ver, José know. Magaña, José Magaña. José Magaña. Hello, José. José. Ok. Hi, ah, teacher. Hello. Teacher. Eh, José Magaña es, le gustan mucho las palabras. Vamos a ver si... Actually, José, how do you say actually in Spanish? Actually. Ajá, uh -huh. in Spanish. Es este... Actualmente. No. no. No es actualmente. No, no, no. No es. No, no es. No, no. Ah, se me olvida, pero se ah, confunde. Okay. Se so, confunde actual, actual y... Actually con actualmente. Yes, you're right. Pero parece eh, que es you, en you, este momento. You mess me with uh, archipelago, right? Me, me echó gol José Magaña con archipiélago, right? Archipiélago. Ahora yo ya me vengué. Ahora se desquitó. <risa> <risa> ok, Ángel Martínez. En Ángel. realidad. Ah, ok. Se le adelantaron, Ángel. <risa> Sorry. Real. En, en verdad, la sí. realidad es que... Ok, la realidad de es hecho. que... De hecho. De hecho. Actually, right? Eh, actualmente means no guadéis. No guadéis o these days o in the present, right? Mm -hmm. But never say actually, actualmente. Like you say capacitación, capacitation, no. Capacitación is training. Training, right? Ok. Good. That's a teacher. Commercial. Yes, yes. Just, Katia. Just, uh... Yes, just, uh, well, if someone wants to say actualmente, uh, the word for, for this in English is currently. Currently, yes, it's another word, correct? Thank you, Katia. Yes. Cu currently, nowadays, these days, in the present, now, today. Uh, so those are the expressions we can use. Thank you, Katia. Okay, now, please, repeat after me, please. Actually. Actually. Farm. Farm. Mount. Okay? Now. Vocabulary, right? Remember we were talking about geography. So with the pronunciation in today's class, we're going to continue talking about uh, this vocabulary, right? So pay attention. Vocabulary, describing the natural world. Read and listen. Geographic nouns. A forest, a jungle, a valley, a canyon, an island, a glacier. Geographic adjectives. Mountainous. Hilly, flat, dry, arid, lush, green. Now listen again and repeat. A forest, a jungle, a valley, a canyon. An island, a glacier, mountainous, hilly, flat, dry, arid, lush. Green. Okie dokie. Now, any question? Any question? You can see the picture, right? Here, lush or green. That's lush. verdoso, tupido. Monta montainous. Mountain. Hilly. <laughs> Hilly is like, okay, let's just start with mountain, right? Give me a second. There are two words. Mount. Monte, right? Uh -huh. Mountain. Montaña okay. and montañoso, mountainous, 
Montanus. Ah, Montanus. Montanus. Okay. It's a very difficult word. Okay, let's start. One by one. Mount. Mount. Mountain. Mountain. Mountainous. Mountainous. Ah, okay, who's repeating there? Who is repeating? Eh, Angel, no. Jose Magaña, Jose Magaña, right? Ah, okay, yes. congratulations. Good pronunciation. Mountainous. Mountain. Mountain. Yes, of course. Mountain. Very good. Mountain. Okay, like curtain. Mountain. Gotten, right? It's not gotten, gotten, but it's gotten. Gotten. Forgotten. Gotten. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, now the other question. Por ahí había otra preguntita. No? Flat, teacher. Flat. It's plano, right? Flat. Flat, like like the like the pampas in in Argentina. So they are flat, right? In El Salvador is very mountainous, right? We only in um, what is this? Uh, there is a, a an area, right? Una una zona cerca de Ciudad Arce. Um, what is the name? Entre Opico y Ciudad Arce, una zona que sea que bien plana. I don't remember the name, but this is the. It's raro tener lugares así en El Salvador. Just mountain, right? Or hilly. We all most of the places are hilly, right? In El Salvador. Okay. Any other question about vocabulary? No. Okay. Now let's let's go to the to the platform, right? Uh huh. Here, right? Sherry. Okay. Uh, pero antes de, de seguir, uh, vamos, creo que ya estamos la mayoría, ¿verdad? Okay. Listen, please open your cameras. Come on, open your cameras. Yes. Solo, solo a mí me ven las canitas. Vamos a ver, quiero verlos ustedes también. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Now, listen, please. Eh, me estaban uh, haciendo la recomendación que hay que recordarles que hay que terminar las secciones 1, 2 y 3. Okay. El próximo viernes de esta semana a la otra van a cerrar ya la plataforma. Entonces tienen que estar ya completadas las cinco secciones. Okay. Uh, mañana terminamos la sección 4. Okay. Entonces también tiene que estar terminada. Y la otra semana vamos con la sección 5 y el final test. Y ahí terminamos el curso, ¿verdad? Uh, recuérdense que esta clase es para reforzar el, los temas, ok, yo les traigo presentaciones, ejemplos hacemos prácticas y todo, verdad pero principalmente la clase es para apoyarlos a ustedes en entender y hacer la plataforma, ok que entiendan qué están haciendo, que aprendan pero que también vayan completando todos los ejercicios, entonces uh, yo estoy ahí en el whatsapp Ya saben que lo ideal es que me manden las preguntas al WhatsApp. Y pues ahí estoy, ¿verdad? A veces pues tengo otro trabajo, pues trabajo con el Ministerio de Educación también. Pero sí estoy pendiente de ustedes, del grupo, ¿verdad? Cualquier mensaje, pues ahí estamos a la orden. Y uh, hay algunos que hemos tenido algunos inconvenientes que eh, con el aspecto técnico de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Que... Eh, a veces me han dicho, mire, teacher, pero si la oración está buena, ¿y, ¿y por qué a mí me sale malo? Y vengo yo y lo hago en mi plataforma, ¿verdad? Y también sí. a mí me sale bien. Entonces digo yo, este, ¿qué será? Alguna cuestión técnica, ¿verdad? Pero, pero eso ha eso, sido así siempre, teacher. Sí, siempre vaya, pero, pero vamos, los... a la vez pasada habíamos hablado de esto y ahora lo, se lo voy a repetir. Para que ustedes me ayuden. Si ustedes ya probaron, ¿verdad? Le pusieron coma, le pusieron aquí, le pusieron allá. Y no, siempre sale mal. Entonces, necesito que, que me den el número del ejercicio, ¿verdad? Le sacamos una, un Photoshop ahí, eh, un, una captura de pantalla, perdón. Y luego vamos a pedir asesoría con... Eh, tenemos a Oscar, Jonathan, Jason, que son los compañeros que nos están apoyando en el área técnica. ¿Verdad? Entonces, eh, pues yo no sé cómo se maneja el, allá en, en las oficinas eh, la plataforma, ¿verdad? Pero me imagino que se pueden hacer algunas correcciones. Entonces, en la manera en que ustedes nos ayuden y nos digan, miren, en el 
en el 4.2, por ejemplo, que eh, aquí está este problemita, ¿verdad? Y siempre los, hay que tratar todos los aspectos técnicos, por ejemplo, no espacios entre palabras, eh, siempre comenzar con mayúscula, eh, y hay un, hay un aspecto técnico que ahora me lo dijeron y que, y que tiene razón el compañero. Me dijo que en el apóstrofe, <coughs> sorry, eh, en algunos tableros aparece solo una comilla. O sea, hay, está la doble comilla y está una sola comilla. Pero en algunos tableros aparece la comilla que es como un poco así, como ganchito. ¿Ok? Y está el apóstrofe. En mi tablero, ¿verdad? Mi computadora es una HP. Después del cero, a, a uh -huh. mí me aparece el apóstrofe. Después del cero, en mi tablero, ¿verdad? Pero algunas máquinas son diferentes. Entonces... Eh, si ustedes pueden identificar a veces esos pequeños errorcitos, ¿verdad? Eh, pues, ¿verdad? Eh, a mí, a mí me pasó con eso, estuve como, Patricia, como 40 okay. minutos, sí, oh, Patricia, sorry, 40 Patricia. minutos en eso. Y, y le escribía y le escribía hasta que con una compañera había ah, demasiado pero, espacio. Patricia, una... perdón que le interrumpa, pero sí me preguntó a mí. Sí, sí, ah, se recuerda que ah, sí, okay. pero el, mi problema, no es que, usted perdón, me mandó Patricia, una respuesta. Sí, pero a veces me aflige que, que, que me preguntaron y yo no les respondí. No, entonces. no, 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 mi, mi problema fue que yo decía, pero que está malo, porque yo le puse el apóstrofe y exactamente uh -huh. era el de otra tecla y no esa ah, que usted okay. dice que está en el, de la letra me salía bien separada. Y una uh -huh. compañera me dijo que miraba muy separada el apóstrofe y cabal, eso era cuando cambié el, el, el la tecla, el, la tecla uh -huh. ahí, ahí estuvo la solución. Sí, sí, es sí. que esa tecla que apretaba usted era de las comillas. Sí, seguramente. ¿sí? Sí. Y también está la tecla de la, del acento. Bueno, en el acento no hay sí. problema porque usted lo escribe y no se ve y hasta que usted pone la vocal y aparece la, sí. la tilde, que es así, ¿verdad? En este sentido, la tilde. Y la, la el... La que usted ponía es como así, de, sí. como ganchito. Entonces el apóstrofe es así, bueno, mi computadora eh, es un gord, poquito gordito de abajo, pero está en esta dirección, así. Okay, entonces ese es uno de los detalles técnicos. Eh, otra chica de otro grupo me dijo de que, de que ella intentó, como usted dice, como 40 minutos, hasta que la I del, del sujeto, I, la puso en minúscula en ese ejercicio, hasta entonces le dio. ¿Verdad? Entonces son pequeños detallitos, pero como ustedes dicen, eso siempre ha sido así, dicen, ¿verdad? Pero bueno, es primera vez que estoy yo con ustedes y, y, y sí. me parece a mí, no sé, la vez pasada hablamos con Ángel, con José Magaña, creo que hablábamos, que, que lo que podemos ir haciendo es como llevando un récord, ¿verdad? Y los vamos apuntando, entonces ahí es donde aparecen errorcitos, luego se los mandamos a los compañeros y decirles, miren, aquí... Porque también a una compañera le salía que, que ella le ponía el, el signo de interrogación y le salía malo. Se lo quitaba y le salía bueno. Entonces, son esos detallitos técnicos, ¿verdad? Que, que, que cuando elaboraron la plataforma, a veces quizás se fue un espacio o algo ahí, ¿verdad? Pero que, que, que estamos nosotros en la disposición de ayudarles a ustedes, ¿verdad? Y también siéntanse eh, satisfechos, ya muchos de ustedes les he dicho, se sientan satisfechos de que, de que saben. A José Pérez, por ejemplo, le decía la vez pasada también, ¿verdad? Ustedes saben, y estas son cuestiones técnicas, pues, que al final, ¿verdad? Eh, se pueden resolver. Si sí, sí, ahí la cuestión es que va parte de la evaluación, por eso es que estamos preocupados en los compañeros del área técnica y yo como su maestro, ¿verdad? De, 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 de que ustedes lo, lo hagan bien y salgan bien evaluados, obviamente, ¿verdad? Pero amén de eso, pues, ustedes siéntanse... Um, bien, que, que, que saben, pues, ¿verdad? Porque algunos de los temas que hemos visto están un poco difíciles, ¿verdad? Pero ahí están ustedes intentándolo. Um, so, any other question? ¿Hay alguna otra pregunta, algún comentario? ¿Alguna sugerencia? Antes de seguir. No. Sure. Y recuerden eso, ¿verdad? Que, que como les digo, yo preparo una presentación cada noche y um, hacemos ejercicios, practicamos, ¿verdad? Últimamente como que las conversaciones 
la hemos dejado a un lado, pero ya vamos a regresar a eso, para que hacer los grupos, ¿verdad? Y todo eso, para que practique. Pero, pero en realidad el propósito de las clases es ayudarles a ustedes que entiendan los temas, ¿verdad? Y que ustedes puedan desarrollar la plataforma. Esa es la idea. Y si ustedes tienen todas las preguntas, hagámoslas, no hay problema. Por mí, a mí me fascina responder las preguntas. A mí no es que, oh, no, no, me van a preguntar. No, no, no. come on. I like it. Ok, that's my job. Yo disfruto mi trabajo. So, don't worry. Sí, gracias, gracias, teacher, porque de verdad... Don't worry. Su, su metodología nos ha ayudado bastante. Ah, ok, ok, Patricia. Sí. But mainly is this, Patricia, you, right? Ustedes son el factor principal, ¿verdad? Si ustedes eh, repasan, eh, averiguan... Yo veo que José Magaña es un bien investigativo, ¿verdad? Ok, eh, si averiguan, usan el Google, porque ahora solo usan Google, ¿verdad? Este, leen libros, eh, practican en la plataforma. Ya la vez pasada les decía que hay una parte ahí donde ustedes pueden practicar. Es una plataforma muy buena, realmente a mí me gusta mucho. Eh, ustedes pueden hacerlo, así es que ahí está de su parte, ¿verdad? Yo pues solo estoy ahí para medio apoyarlos ahí <ríe> y los solo dirigiendo. Ok, thank you. Now. Let's begin, right? Uh, we are going to continue with the with the platform. Uh, let me see. Here, right? Okay. Uh, questions of choice. Four point eight, right? Pronunciation. Questions of choice. I told you before that choice is an option, right? It's an option. Choice. Choice. Okay, pay attention. Hi, in this class we'll practice our pronunciation. Listen to the intonation of questions of choice. Repeat the questions along the audio program. Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in part A of exercise 3 again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil or Greece? Okay, now it's time to practice. It's time to practice. Just give me a second here. I close this part. Mm -hmm. What happened here? Ah, here, right? Hi, in this class, we'll practice our pronunciation questions along the audio program. Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in part A of exercise three again. Now, please, I need you to repeat, please. Ready? To repeat, here we go. Again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Okay, now the second one. Repeat, please, the second. Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Okay, now please notice the arrow, right? It goes like this, then down, up, down. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Oh, okay, so it's down, up, down. Okay, what do you eat for breakfast? Milk, coffee, or chocolate? Okay. Now, I want you to give me example, right? Give me examples of choice in this case. Uh, volunteers to help me, please. Volunteers. Patricia. Uh -huh. Okay, give me one example, Patricia. Yes, you. Your example, right? I told you one. Uh, uh, what do you eat for breakfast? What do you drink, sorry, for breakfast? I say eat, right, sorry. What do you drink for breakfast? Uh, um, chocolate? Yes. 
coffee or milk huh? yes. so you coffee can talk about milk. Uh, in your case please give me one example options for example colors food sports music what is color favorite blue uh, what is your favorite color uh -huh. green. come on again again what's your favorite color repeat what what favorite in color no in color no what's your, your color. favorite color color uh -huh. okay and then mention the three colors three colors red blue or yellow excellent now i need patricia you exaggerate the intonation right you say ah, yes. green red, no red, ah, okay. red, red yellow or yellow, ah, something like that. okay or again again Shh, relax relax okay ready <laughs> what is okay one two three Real. no no wait 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 what is your favorite what color? is your favorite color red no 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 uh, yellow red. no no wait 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 what is it red <laughs> red red yellow or blue <laughs> excellent i like it right uh, you make patricia like like me when i play video game right when they say salta salta right i, I make like this uh -huh. right <laughs> okay that's nice thank you very much patricia okay who who else uh, jose perez please keep, would you like to keep, help me please jose um yeah teacher i don't know if you can hear me yes i can hear you Perfectly. Okay, my example is uh, which country is the best in soccer? Mm -hmm. It's correct, teacher. Yes, correct. Continue, continue. Now tell me the three options. Are uh, Brazil, Argentina, or New Zealand? Okay, now again, don't stop, right? Don't stop and say the full question. And, Jose? I need yeah. exager exaggeration in when you say Brazil, Argentina, or El Salvador. You say <laughs> okay, okay, come on, go ahead, go ahead. What One. is the best country in soccer? Brazil, New Zealand, or Brazil? Or Argentina, right? Argentina. Okay, thank you. Good example, right? Now let me see. Ángel, one example, Ángel. Okay, teacher. What, what could, what, what could, um, in my lunch, uh -huh. So, uh, Angel, in this case, it could be, sorry to interrupt you, but it could be, what food do you have, right? What food do you have, right? In lunch. What food do you have in lunch? Okay. Okay. What food does What food um in lunch? Okay. Chicken, no. cookies, and bread. Okay, thank you, thank you very much, Angel. Now, Gloria, please, Gloria, your example, Gloria. Yes, teacher. Uh, which country would you like to visit? Spain, Canada, okay. or Italy? Okay, thank you very much. Good example, Gloria. Thank you to Angel and thank you all you, right? And the last volunteer please nobody else okay so let's continue let's continue right conversation 
Distance and measurements. Right? Distance and measurements. Okay, but let me see something. Distance and measurement. Okay, good. Yes. So pay attention, please. Por ahí me quedó un micrófono encendido. Please, Uy, perdón, turn off. Ok, please. Ok, now. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Are you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from... Hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen to the conversation. What are they talking about? Pay close attention. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms, and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Okay. Before everything, we're going to discuss something, right? Uh, I don't know if you, if we were working last time with measurements or just give me a second, I will share this with you. I want to be sure because, uh, no, no, it's not in this presentation. I suppose the presentation of tomorrow, but anyway. Anyway, let me see. Okay, here we are in the conversation again. Okay, good. Now, before to start, we're going to review the number, right? Here we have big numbers. Look, 3,800, right? 2,000 kilometers, right? Uh, so we're going to review with some numbers. I will copy for you, and you're going to tell me those numbers, right? Just give me a second. Okay, let me see. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me see. Patricia Morales, please. Can you tell me what number is this? In English? Hello, Patricia. Can you see? Per no, perdón. Lo, lo vamos a hacer más grande, ok. Wait a minute. 4,000. Uh -huh. 4,900. 4,900, correct. Let me see another color here. Oh, yeah, this is better, right? Ok. Ok, now, uh, Yvette, please. How do you say this number, Yvette? It's 7,000. 7,000, okay. Good. Okay, a little more complicated, right? Uh, Karen, please. This is more complicated, Karen. But come on, you can do it. <laughs> Two thousand four hundred fifty-six. Fifty-six. Good. So I mm -hmm. see no problem with the number, right? I see no problem with the numbers. Thank you. Sure. Yes. Tell me. Oh, okay. Ya ya estuvo. Okay. Um, no se pueden decir las cantidades de dos, de dos, de dos en dos. 
Uh, well, yes, yes, uh, especially with numbers, credit cards, even identification, right? You can say that, but normally in mathematics or when you are expressing measurements in this case, it's better you say the, the normal way, right? 3,100, et cetera, et cetera, right? The normal way, because you're talking about very specific information, okay? So in general, I repeat, in measurements, dates, mathematics, right? It's necessary you say um, the exact number, right? Okay. With telephones, uh, okay, like in like in Spanish, uh, we say uh, 77, 24, blah, blah, blah. Or uh, <laughs> 1, 4, 5, 3, you know, you can, you can say this way, right? Because it's a telephone number, or with the Dewey, right? What's the number of your Dewey? Uh, it's uh, 38, 421, 125. 1, 2, 5. ¿Y en lo, de, lo del año? Ah, okay. Uh, you can, well, in, in this case, you can say both ways, right? 1999, you can say uh, uh, 1999 or 1999, for example, right? You can separate. Ah, okay. uh -huh. And okay. uh, for example, this the this year is 2020, right? 2020. Mm -hmm. 2020. And sometimes you can say no, 2020. 2020, uh -huh. no se puede, ¿verdad? Yes, 2020. yes, it's possible, yeah. Yes. 2020, yes, it's possible, yes. Okay, yes. good. So let's continue. Good questions about numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, so we're talking about measure, measurement, right? Meters, kilometers, right? Kilometers and meters. Okay, now let's practice the conversation. Please, listen, listen again. I will read for you slowly, right? I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? No, se ve, teacher. Uh, no. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry. Now, again. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Aren't? Or aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Z Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Mountains, 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 mountains. Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. Mount, mountain, mountainous. Mount, mountain, mountainous. It's about 3,800 meters high. 3,800 meters high. Mm. I'm sorry, it's... Mm. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. I want to, to find the exact pronunciation. Mm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 2, kilometers from Sydney. Sydney is not the capital of Australia, right? It's only one big city in Australia from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Now, please, everybody, repeat after me, please. I'm going to Australia next year. Next year. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. I'm, mm, 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 I'm, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So, was it like there? Was it? Was it like? Was it like there? 
So, what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Ba, ba, ba. Beautiful, beautiful. It has lots of farms. It has lots of farms. And it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. The highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. 3,800 meters high. Mm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? How far is New Zealand from Australia? How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland. And Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. About 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, Maybe I should visit you. Maybe I should visit you next year. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Okay, now listen to the audio, please. Listen to the audio. Just give me a second here. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Wait, 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 oh, it's wait. You're from Australia, Beth? Yes. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, oh, Beth? Sorry, sorry. I don't know what happened. Give me a second. Sorry, class. Excuse me. Uh, okay, here, here. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? I'm going to Australia next year. Wait a minute. Okay, here. Hoy sí estamos. Sorry, sorry. So listen and repeat, please. Australia next year. No. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Yes. I'm going to Australia next year. Okay, repeat, please. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms. And it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland. And Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney.
Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Okay, class. Um, listen, it's not possible that you, um, you can watch the conversation in group, right? So again, we're going to practice slowly. I'm sorry, the slowly way. So I'm going to start asking you to practice the conversation in pair, right? Okay, and if you want, uh, we are going to check some key words to pronounce, right? Key words, algunas palabras eh, que nos cueste pronunciar, right? According to the couple. In this case, we're going to start with uh, Angel. And let me see, Angel and Felipe, please. Angel and Felipe. Angel, you're going to be Scott, right? Okay. And Felipe, you're going to be Beth, right? Okay, teacher. Okay. Scott, I'm going to Australia next year. Are you from Australia base? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that, so what he like there? I say, oh, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. It has a lot of farms, and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe, maybe to visit your next year too. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, some key word, right? Listen, repeat after me, please. Everybody, everybody, not, not only Angel and, and Felipe, everybody, repeat, please. Next year. Next year. Was it? Was it like there? Mount? Mountains? Mountains. 3,800. Live. I live. Okay? Now, let me see who else. Uh, we have Gloria Palma. Gloria? Uh, yes, Jose, Jose Magaña, right? No, sorry. Who, who was participating? Ángel o José? ¿Quién, ¿Quién acaba de participar? Perdón, ya me, ya me perdí. <laughs> Ángel, ok, thank you, Ángel, thank you. So, José Magaña, en Gloria, please. Eh, José, you are Scott, right? En Gloria, you are Beth. Ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. 
No. I'm going to Australia. You begin, right? Okay. Jose. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountains. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest form is mountain Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland. In Auckland, it's about 2,000 kilometers for Sydney, from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Okay, thank you very much. Let's continue because we only have like 10 minutes, right? Uh, let me see. Um, today we have Lisette. Lisette, help me, please. And Janira Garcia, please. Lisette, you're Scott. Okay. And Janira, you are Beth, right? Okay, one, two, okay, three. Teacher. Sorry? Okay. Okay, do it. Um, I go I'm I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's like, what is like there? Oh, it's beautiful and it's beautiful. It has a lot of farms and it's very mountains. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is the Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Mm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland. And Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Okay, thank you very much. Now listen, please repeat. What's it like there? What's it like there? So, what's it like there? I should. I should. Okay, thank you for your participation. Now we have, let me see, Betty and Brenda. Betty Vasquez and Brenda Alvarez, please. Okay. Betty, Betty, you're going to be Scott. And Brenda, you're going to be Beth. Beth, sorry. Beth. Okay. okay. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I am from New Zealand. Oh, I, I didn't know that. So what is like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has it has local farms, and it's very mon mountains. Really? How oh, high are high are the mountains? Well, the highest one in Mount Cook is about three thousand three thousand. 800 meter high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit your next year too. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, repeat after me, please. Lots of farms. It has lots of farms. Okay, thank you very much. 
Now, uh, Iris Palacio, please, you're going to be Beth. And Jose Perez. Jose Perez, you're going to be uh, Scott, right? Ready? Uh, yeah, right. Ready. Ladies and gentlemen, one, two, three. I am going to Australia next year. Are you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farm and it's very mountains. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one Mount Cook is about 3,800 meters high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Thank you very much. Your pronunciation. Thank you very much. And to finish, eh, sorry, por ahí me quedaron algunos, Dani y otros que no van a participar, pero en la otra vamos a incluirlos. So, uh, Yvette Siliesar and Roxana Mendez, right? Eh, Yvette, you are Scott, and Roxana, you are Beth, right? Ready? Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we have Yvette and Roxana. I'm going to Australia next year. Are you from Australia, then? Actually, I am from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So, what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farm. And it's very mountain. Really? How high are the mountains? Where well, the highest one in Mount, Mount Cook is about, ¿cómo se dice eso, teacher? Uh, El número. 3,000. 3,000. 800. 800. Neither high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in uh, Auckland. Um, Oakland is about. ¿Y ese número, teacher? 2,000. 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Okay. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the participation, right? Uh, okay. What we can do next is that uh, to practice in groups. We can, we can copy the conversation before, right? Okay. Uh, uno de estos días voy a pedirles de tarea que me copien la conversación antes de, de entrar a la clase. Y así dividimos los grupos y los practicamos, ¿verdad? En, 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 en grupitos, okay? En reuniones separadas. Good. I don't know if you have any extra question. ¿Hay alguna pregunta extra de la clase? No. 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 Everything is clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Let me see we have commentary. Vamos a ver si nos han dejado comentarios. Um, no, no commentaries. Uh, por ahí alguien me estaba preguntando cómo agregar eh, su comentario. Eh, solo se le agrega acá, se le da un clic a add a post. Y ya le aparece el espacio. Vamos a ver si me funciona ahorita. No, no sé si me están viendo mi pantalla. No. No, no me están viendo la pantalla. No. No, no déjeme no. ver. Déjeme un segundito entonces. Permítame un segundo. Uh, ok. Aquí estamos. Compartir pantalla. Permítame un segundo antes de retirarnos. Espera, no post. Esta sería. Ok, ¿hoy sí? Yes. ¿Se alcanza a ver? Ok. Yes. Ahí está la conversación. Ok, ah, aquí está la parte de discussion, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces le vamos a dar, a, aquí no hay ningún comentario y no puedo escribir nada. ¿eh? Entonces le doy a add post. 
Y hay dos tipos, de pregunta y discussion. Dice que aquí está la discussion, right? Y aquí sí ya puedo escribir, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Hello, everybody. Let me see. Barcelona is the best. Mm. Ah, no, who say no? Who say no? <laughs> ¿Quién dijo no ahí? Please. <laughs> que le pegaron la humillación del siglo es otra cosa. Pero, okay. <laughs> But now, eh, you please make your commentaries, right? It is not necessary you make examples. You can give any commentaries. For example, you can say, I like, I would like to live in Australia, for example, right? Or any commentary. The idea is that you uh, participate like in the discussion. Uh, kangaroos. You like kangaroos? Can no, kangaroos, no. sorry, kangaroos. Um, <laughs> I like kangaroos. koala bears. <laughs> También. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Uh, have an excellent night. God bless you and see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.